Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will show you how to go from plain idea about your product to design ready for implementation in less than 10 minutes using a tool called UX Pilot. Our journey starts at the home screen of UX Pilot, where we need to create a new design file. Let's give it a name – Pet Clinic. I want to build a service for making wet and grooming appointments for pets. Once we click Create, UX Pilot redirects us to the working area. Here we need to choose our use case. I typically use UX Pilot for design exploration, so in my case it will be high fidelity designs that I will share with stakeholders to understand their preferences. I want to make sure that I'm using the latest AI model. At this step you can also choose a custom design system. In this case you will upload your own design components from Figma and generate UI that matches your brand identity. Then I need to choose the screen type. This is a medium for which I will design my solution. In my case, I will do a mobile app for iOS, so I choose mobile. Next, the most important part – create context. Here I will type a prompt for AI, explaining what I'm building. The better you articulate your intention, the more relevant the result you will get. In my case, I will say I want to have a pet clinic and grooming, and it will be an iOS app. I can also upload a file with the context and provide additional visual reference of what I'm building. But in my case, I typically skip this because I want AI to do the work and offer me some ideas of how the app should look like. Once I create the context, now I want to highlight the most important feature of UX Pilot, at least for me. This feature is called Autoflow. What it does? Once you click on this button, AI will take your context and create a user flow based on it. It means that instead of single screen, you will get a user flow that will cover all the main areas of the app. Xpilot will provide the description of individual screens it's going to generate for me. And I can tweak this description at any time. Let's turn this description in actual design. Let's click Generate to see the results. Once I do that, I will see that AI has started to work on my task. You can see that the screen names match the description of items in the left side panel. I want to mention that the process of design generation takes some time. So in my case, it took around a minute to generate the entire set of screens. But for the sake of this video, I will speed up this part. And now we have the first screen. And I should say it looks clean. Nice cards with clear call to action button, book appointment at the top of the screen. A grid of cards with key services, special offers banner, sections with my pads, and recent activities. Finally, the top bar with navigation at the bottom. Overall, this screen looks solid for the first iteration. Now let's quickly check the Contact Us screen. AI tries to create a consistent look and feel. All screens were created using the same colors, fonts and spacing. And this helps create visual consistency, which has a positive impact on usability. I also like the way AI creates visual area of interests and directs user attention to important content. For example, intentional use of color. The emergency section is colored in red, and it immediately attracts user attention. And while I was talking about contact us screen, AI generated all remaining screens. Let's quickly review health services. You can spot some interesting design decisions in UI generated by UX Pilot. Nice work with Gradient. I think gradients will be more popular with the release of iOS 26 and liquid glass aesthetic. Ok, enough with the UI design review. Let's modify the design generated by AI. And the screen I want to play with is Book Appointment. I think it's the most important screen in this flow. It's good that this screen offers a stepper, but it misses the information about the actual clinic in which I'm booking an appointment. Let's fix it. Click on the screen, click Edit and choose Global Edit option. Write a prompt. Add a section with information about the clinic at the top of the screen. Submit it. And you can see that UX Pilot is working on creating a new version of this screen. And the good thing is, we can access the previous version. In fact, a new version is stacked on top of the older one, which makes it easy to move back and forth. As you can see, in the second version, AI added information about the clinic at the top. The rest of the screen looks good to me. Very clean and minimalist UI. Let's also introduce another change. This time a small tweak. Choose Section Edit, select the card with the service, 
and type a prompt explaining that we want to see a discount for this service and it should be an optional information. AI is doing a third revision of this screen. And yes, it looks good. We have a nice red badge that says 20% off and the price was also updated to reflect the discount. So, what is the next logical step for us if we want to move forward with this design? Right, we should send it to Figma. To do that, I will select all screens and click Save to Figma. Now let's jump to Figma. In a newly created Figma design file, run plugins and choose UX Pilot plugin. Click on Retrieve in Figma and choose the latest group from the list. It will be a set of screens I've just exported to Xpilot. Once I do that, Xpilot starts to send screens to Figma. This process is relatively fast. The only thing that I want to mention is that the screens might appear in slightly different order. So in my case, the first screen is my pets and not a home screen, but you can always change the order the way you like. The good thing is the design that Xpilot generated is fully editable. You can select a section and enable auto layout to make it easy to manage. The same principle applies to text. You can select it and, for example, change its color to improve the color contrast. In under 10 minutes I created the entire flow that now I can share with the stakeholders and collect valuable feedback from them. This is a huge time saver. Let me know what you think about this app and UX Pilot in particular in the comments. Thank you.